what happens when atoms meet. More atoms together build molecules by creating chemical bonds between themselves, as if they were holding hands. To make chemical bonds, atoms use their valence electrons, that are the most external ones. When atoms get close, they share a certain number of electrons that do not rotate around the nucleus of a single atom, but around both atoms. The strength of chemical bonds is not always the same, but depends on the atoms involved. Moreover, there are some atoms that can create only one bond, and other atoms that can create more bonds. For example, carbon can create up to four bonds. To know which and how many atoms there are in a molecule, we need its chemical formula. It states which atoms compose the molecule using symbols of the periodic table, and using numbers, it states how many atoms compose the molecule. In this way, we can understand what glucose, the most common sugar in the world, is made up of. Its chemical formula is C6H12O6, and this means that in a molecule of glucose, there are 6 atoms of carbon, 12 atoms of hydrogen, and 6 atoms of oxygen. When two or more molecules interact and turn into different ones, a chemical reaction is happening. The starting molecules are called the reagents, and the final ones are called products. However, in a chemical reaction, atoms cannot appear or disappear. They can only move from a molecule to another. An example of chemical reaction is photosynthesis, where water and carbon dioxide turn into glucose and oxygen. Every molecule has its own shape, which depends on how many bonds the atom can create and how many electrons remain free in the central atom of the molecule. For example, calcium hydride is a molecule made up of three atoms, with two bonds and no free electrons, therefore it has a linear shape. Water molecule is also made up of three atoms and two bonds, but it has two pairs of free electrons, and therefore it has a V-shape. There are also molecules shaped like an equilateral triangle, such as aluminium hydride. Other molecules are shaped like a tetrahedron, such as methane, or like a triangular pyramid, such as ammonia. Water is one of the most important substances on our planet, and it's thanks to this molecule that life on Earth is possible. Water's chemical formula is H2O, so we can say that it is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Water's molecule has a V-shape, with the oxygen atom on the tip. The bond between oxygen and hydrogen is a polar covalent bond. This means that the shared electrons tend to stay closer to the oxygen. As a consequence, oxygen has a slight negative electric charge, while hydrogen has a slight positive electric charge. Because of the electric charge, the oxygen atom of one molecule attracts the hydrogen from another molecule, creating a weak bond. Thanks to this characteristic, it is possible to dissolve other substances in water. When a substance is dissolved in water, the result is called a solution. This is what happens when, for example, we add salt to water. Salt is made up of one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine. The negative electric charge of oxygen attracts sodium, while the positive electric charge of hydrogen attracts chlorine. This way, salt dissolves in water. Like many other substances, water can exist in three different states. It can be liquid, but it can also be solid when it turns into ice, and it can be gas when it turns into gaseous water vapor. In addition to water, there are also other molecules that are very important for life on Earth. Those are called organic molecules. Those molecules contain at least one atom of carbon, and all living organisms are largely made up of this kind of molecules. In living organisms, we can find four main kinds of organic molecules. Sugars, lipids, proteins, and nucleotides. Sugars are also called carbohydrates, and they can be made up of only one molecule or more molecules. In lipids, atoms are arranged in order to create a head and two tails. 
Proteins are made up of 20 different smaller molecules, called amino acids. Nucleotides are made up of three smaller molecules, a nitric base, a sugar and a phosphate group. More nucleotides put together form nucleic acids, that are DNA and RNA. DNA contains the instructions to build proteins, while RNA follows these instructions to put amino acids together and assemble proteins. It is precisely carbon that composes organic molecules because this element has some unique characteristics. As a matter of fact, carbon can create up to four bonds with other atoms, and this way it can build a lot of different structures with different shapes. Useful words. Which words did we learn today? Atom, atomo. Molecule, molecola. Chemical bond, legame chimico. Electron, elettrone. Chemical formula, formula chimica. Glucose, glucosio. Carbon, carbonio. Hydrogen, idrogeno. Oxygen, ossigeno. Chemical reaction, reazione chimica. Reagent, reagente. Product, prodotto. Carbon dioxide, anidride carbonica. Calcium hydrate, idruro di calcio. Linea, lineare. Equilateral triangle, triangolo equilatero. Aluminium hydrate, idruro di alluminio. Tetrahedron, tetraedro. Methane, metano. Triangular pyramid, piramide triangolare. Ammonia, ammoniaca. Polar covalent bond, legame covalente polare. Electric charge, carica elettrica. Solution, soluzione. Sodium, sodio. Chlorine, cloro. Solid, solido. Liquid, liquido. Gas, gassoso. Organic molecule, molecola organica. Sugar, zucchero. Lipid, lipide. Protein, proteina. Nucleotide, nucleotide, carbohydrate, carboidrato, amino acid, amino acido, nitric base, base azotata, phosphate group, gruppo fosfato, nucleic acid, acido nucleico.